Uh, Bunty King was uh, actually in favor of Carlos Malza going at Steven Crowder. He said that uh, Crowder making like gay jokes or whatever was just too far. It was harassment. And this was like a bad thing. Well, here's a video from his Patreon that we have the link to. Now, it had one view up until now, which was Nick watching it yesterday. So nobody's ever seen this before. This is some exclusive shit right here. I remember I was watching. Oh, wow. All right. And this guy uh, in, in the movie is the Grand, Grand Budapest Hotel. It was such a good movie, so fucking good. But at one point, Adrian Brody's character gets up, looks at Ralph Fiennes, and he says, "Who? That faggot?" And I died of laughter in uh, the theater. The theater was packed, full of so many people. Think about it: Atwater, downtown, me, and like, I, I'm, I roar with laughter. Everyone else is dead silent. They don't think that's funny at all. I thought it was hilarious. Because it was like, the guy was just full-blown, just call someone a faggot. Oh, man. It was my favorite scene. It was one of my favorite <laughs> scenes. The guy was like, straight up got, and out of nowhere called him a faggot. And it's like, what the, <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? But yeah, that was, uh, it was really good. It was really, really fucking good scene. I liked it. It was hilarious. Yeah, so the guy who said Crowder was harassing the Carlos Maza because he called him gay or something like that. Um, he really loves that scene in the movie where the uh, he says the fa uh, faggot word. That's so funny. <laughs> I just realized though, this is like exclusive Patreon content that he gives uh, that he gives to people who sub to him. Conversations with his producer, like that's like the riveting content you get from his Patreon account right here. Bungie, <laughs> I said Bungie, Bungie dropping gamer where it's like it's 2015. Yeah, yeah. And this was like a year ago. A year later, he was like, ah, oh, you can't call people gay. That's homophobic. Oh, my God. Tips are well, Nick had a really good post on uh, Twitter where he pointed out that all of these like skeptics, like they base their entire political philosophy on who they're beefing with at the moment. Yeah. So if the left wing's going at them, the SJWs or whatever, then they're anti-SJW and they're like center-right. But if the right wing, alt-right, whatever's going after them, then suddenly they're left wing, center-left, and they're just like, oh my god, we have to deplatform all these evil Nazis. Yeah, yeah, literally, though. Like, all these people have shifted, if you really look at it. Because they don't believe in anything. <laughs> they just believe in uh, whatever's most popular right now. They're YouTube populists, essentially. Whatever's the, the big thing right now on YouTube that makes the most money, that's what they're for. <laughs> Let's listen to this one. This is guy, like, talking shit about someone. He was talking shit about, like, some guy that just passed away, and then my, my buddy, Ian Miles Chong, does a fucking uh, sex offender search on the guy because he just like, suspected <laughs> he was a hunch. He because that's a normal thing that just normal people do. They're just sitting there and yeah, they're like, just a little hunch. Sex offender hunch. Let's yeah, I think that guy. might be a sex offender. Let's do a little background <laughs> check. Just yeah. hunch, dude. It's like how I want to do a little check on Andy Warsky's house to see if there's no weapons in there. <laughs> 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 just making sure. Who he really is. And he found out that he was uh, arrested for uh, producing uh, child porn. Yeah. He was on the sex offenders registry list, man. Fucking crazy. And producer asked, how do you find that? I think it's just, I think he just figured it out. I don't know. Ian Miles Chong isn't a, a rat, though. He's like... <laughs> how do you know that? <laughs> how do you find out that that guy was a sex offender? Bunty has to think for a minute. Uh, I, I, well, I don't, Ian I don't isn't know, a rat. Like, what? Yeah. Wait, what? He, he just figured it out, dude. Quick mass. No, it's not that he's not a rat. He's my rat. Like a, I mean, he's a rat, but he's like my rat, you know? Like he's Ah, like, I forgot he said that part. <laughs> oh my god. We can be that's rats little, together, dude. Sketch. Are they still friends? Scurry around in the fucking sewers, dude. Uh, well, I mean, he jumped on Facebook to defend him last night, so. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, let's play that part. Hold on. Let me find that. Let me find some of these Facebook posts. Because Bunty basically went to Facebook, started crying. He basically wrote a Facebook suicide note. I didn't want to crack that joke in case anything goes wrong in the next few weeks. But, uh. <laughs> in case he had... Okay, here's the here's Bunty King's original post. Let's read this one right here. So this was after Nick had uh, been flagged on Patreon by him. So Bunty said, Hey guys, what would you say constitutes as online harassment? Let's say there's somebody that just constantly looks you up, 
across various social media sites, takes screenshots of anything you post that could have a personal narrative projected onto it, spends an unnecessary amount of time talking with other people about you, attempts to mislead people about you, and attempts to get access to your crowdfunding community to find any additional details about you. And on all of this occurs well after you've established that you'd like to have nothing to do with this person and have quite literally not attempted to engage with this person in any way whatsoever for over half a year. Oh. Is that online harassment or nah? Uh, I, I just gotta like bring up really quickly. This is a guy who attacked my research from my last video. And here he is now. He's claiming I'm doing too much research and it's crossed over into harassment. I just <laughs> find that funny. That's just kind of an ironic also, thing. Also, I have not attempted to engage with this person in any way whatsoever over the half year. Wait. Does he th does he think that like when he deleted his Twitter, I didn't have all the fucking 15, 16, 17, 18 fucking tweets that he's been subtweeting me for the like he's been bi-weekly subtweeting me since September on his Facebook. Mm -hmm. He says, "Edit I know some IRL friends that built social media followings for themselves. Have any of you ever experienced this? Second edit. Many people have been DMing me and asking me why this could be happening to me. I believe it might be because I'm way too handsome for people on the internet. They realize that I won't give them sex because I have standards and it makes them very angry. Isn't he the guy who tried to, like, he's like, I'm gonna kiss you on the cheek. Yeah, like all his humor. Like, what the fuck? Why is uh, everything so sexual? Yeah, it's weird. I, don't I have think people. Dude, think all Bunty King's humor. And and shit is <laughs> all his humor is literally stuff. just like, yeah, I, I'm, I, I get sex. Yeah, I'll fuck you in the ass. Like, yeah, that's, that's literally like literally all, all his humor, dude. <laughs> yeah. Wow, what a wow! Oh, my yeah, I love it when people is gonna on kiss him right on the lips, dude. Oh, yeah. can you believe that? Oh, the Ralph retorts in there. Oh, he's gonna kiss him. Give him a nice smooch. Like, yeah. It's, oh God. Like <laughs> <laughs> that's all Bunty's like responses. It's just, yeah, I, I'm, I'm hot. It's just so weird. Yeah. <laughs> it's such a weird way to. He loves getting white pussy. Bunty oh. gets white pussy. I know that bothers you. Eating her butt was amazing. <laughs> I I'd uh... let her fucking pee on me. <laughs> oh no, Bunty joined the call. What's going on? No, I'm just. Oh my god. I've Mask. had those on my soundboard for like ever, and I haven't had a chance to use them in a while. Oh, I'm a cock. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a, a fucking cock, guys. Here's Jeff Holiday chiming in. He says, Yeah, that's pretty clear harassment. I deal with similar stuff all the time, but they're anonymous. If you know who this is and it's been six months, might want to look into options. <laughs> Looking, looking to options. It, what is that? It, it, it's the uh, like firing up a Discord and you know looking for personal <laughs> information. I don't know, Jeff. I want to specify. This like, doesn't this guy like sympathize for Antifa? Is he really thinking that Bunty should do legal fucking shit on me because I'm researching him for a YouTube video on YouTube.com? Is that is that time how far we fall? Options. It's time to dox Nicholas Diorio. <laughs> it's like it's, it's, so, it's, so, it's always so funny when these guys have like such large sub counts, but like they still have no clue like how the internet works. They're like, damn, I'm getting a lot of harassment. Like, so, well, yeah, it's kind of part of the game, you know. And, uh, and tough how shit. How do you guys deal with the haters and trolls? <laughs> I, I don't give a shit. That's that's how. <laughs> It's very I turn exactly. off my computer. It's very I, in one I of these. Click uh, a different tab. I swear. In so, one of these, Bunty thinks that I'm like an alias or something like that, and I'm just thinking in my head. I go, that would have been a really smart idea if I came in here with an alias. You know, that what? probably would have been a good idea if I didn't just give them my name, <laughs> Nicholas Neorio. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> oh my god. You know how I deal with the handers, Bunny? I open my analytics, I see them numbers go, oh, you can't do that, never mind, that's, that's not gonna work. <laughs> 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 Bro, he uh, finally stopped losing Twitter followers. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> this For the first time in a long time, he can walk up to What's his... Oh, fuck, wait, he doesn't have a girlfriend. Anymore. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, you, you know something. what I'm talking about. Yeah, he doesn't want to be involved D in this. Do I? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, shut up. I can have an I have an idea, but I don't know specifically. <laughs> I'm not referring to, if, if you think I'm referring to crowd, I'm not referring to crowd. Uh, oh, well, then I really don't know then. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Augie. I, I was Augie's so like, oblivious, I just, dude. I just figured this is, why, this is why Augie can always keep a secret in the commentary community because he never pays attention dude, when someone tells him the secret. Yeah, I, just, I just assumed it was crowd. I don't, I don't know. I don't know who you talk to. <sighs> Guys, okay. it's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's Bookie. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, that would be fucking crazy. Could you, Could imagine? you imagine if I got? Oh my god. Oh man, <laughs> boogie.
Let me tell you about. Let me tell you about Bungie. <laughs> Dude, Jesus, be, that would be crazy if that was be, something. It would that be existed. insane if Boogie actually talked some shit about Bunty in Nick's video, especially in that voice that Gator just used. <laughs> oh, that would be that would the just Francis, be, yeah. Dude, that would be that's such a specific request. I can't imagine how funny that would be if that were to exist. Yeah. <laughs> That would be insane. Time to call up Boogie, dude. <laughs> I, I I wonder if you can uh, see if maybe you can get Boogie involved. I don't know. That'd be crazy though. All that right. would be an interesting thing. Bunty wrote back. Uh, I know who he is, as in I know him by the name he uses online, which could be an alias. And I know that he's a. <laughs> I, know, I know he's a goblin that rolls with other goblins. That's all I know about him. Dude, I'm a I'm a goblin, dude. Bunty mm. called me a goblin. Is that racist? <laughs> yeah, I don't even know. Like, what's that supposed to mean? Like, it gives. Just... Okay. Like, am I supposed to be offended yeah. or? Uh, who's this? Yo, who's... Real talk. Real talk. I pu I push this so far. I'm just gonna tease this really quickly. Just, just listen to this really quick. Er, ready? Wait, what? Oh wait. Well, listen to this. L listen to this really quickly. I and 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 and. I'm gonna pronounce you that right. I don't know if I pronounce that right. Oh, it's me, Francis. Listen, dude, this cameo was booked by your friend Nick. And Nick said that oh, recently you found out that your girlfriend was cheating on you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Oh. Well, now, wait a minute! <laughs> Oh, yeah. I just that was a shot in the dark. I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Gator had no idea. Oh my we god. Were like, oh, holy shit. shit. Oh. <laughs> mm. Dude, when's this video coming out here? When's this video coming out? Oh, holy man. fuck. Holy People. shit. <laughs> 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 to release this shit, dude. Um, that's just some random person. Alright, well she says, although I I have dealt with only harassment and death threats from a person in the past when I streamed on Twitch, and everything was pretty much discarded, and I was told by the police, it's an annoying troll, we can't really do much about it, but if something happens, let us know. And I was told the same thing by a friend who studied law at the time, how it's a difficult case to have. Yo, if you die, let us know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. She wanted to, like, oh my god. So while I encourage you to take steps, don't waste all your money doing so, because the chances of this actually doing... Uh, anything are pretty slim. However, you can work with a lawyer or paralegal to write up a cease and desist letter. This usually will scare people off, and they will stop. It's no guarantee, but it might work. Damn, Nick. <laughs> scare people? I don't know if Nick's gonna be scared by a cease and desist. Uh... I think that would, like, blow me up. <laughs> yeah. When Bunty King writes a cease... Because all you're doing... All you're doing is just having a laugh. Like, would you say you hate Bunty King? Because I don't no, get that impression. No, not at all. Actually, he brings me quite a bit of joy. Uh, one time he, like, accused me of trying to flag him on Twitter, which is absolutely insane, because once a week I do like to go to his Twitter and read all the stupid shit he's been saying, and that would really have taken a toll on my, like, my mental health for the week. I wouldn't have gotten my Bunty time. Yeah. So he writes back, I have zero desire to spend any money on this. I just want to know if it's if I'm irrational for thinking this guy's a lunatic. Which, judging from the replies, it's not. Well, you fucking worded it in a way that made it sound yeah, much better. So, it. of course, <laughs> like, you were something in a way where, like, you look like the clear good guy versus a clear bad guy. And people are like, yeah, wow. And then That's you're like, yeah, I I'm no, I, yeah, no, lunatic. I've been, I've been, you know. <laughs> That's why I wasn't giving Jeff Holiday like, a crazy amount of, like, shit. Because, to be honest, he only read what Bunty said. It's not like he yeah, knew he who I know. was. On the other hand, Ian Miles Chung knew exactly who he was talking about. <laughs> oh, let's read this one here. So Bunny says, I was joking when I asked you if this was harassment. I thought it was obvious after I reacted to your reply with an angry emoji, which is almost always used ironically. But you're wrong. The people that initially started this hate train were right-wing centric dickhead. Wait, is that... <laughs> uh? Wait, whoa, 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 is that... Hey, Gator, Wait, I'm left. You? What? Gator, you okay. started this, Gator. He's I'm talking I'm about you. Ah, it's all my fault. <laughs> right-wing centric dickhead. The, Does he oh, mean like yeah. dickhead is in like a dickhead or like a fa a fan of the uh, the dick show? <laughs> Connotation is important here. That we're upset. Either way, he's right about me. <laughs> <laughs> that we're upset at my lack of commitment to their dog shit values. What? I think he thinks we're mad that he's not covering politics anymore. Well, no, he's talking. And he's not being right. He's talking, no, no, he's talking no, about no, the. He thinks that we're mad that he's not covering our politics anymore. 
He's not covering politics at all. He's just whining on. I'm Facebook. just laughing at you because you're funny. I don't give a shit. I just find it. This is, yeah, exactly. This has nothing to do with politics. I don't give a shit. Oh, wait, look at that next line. Mm -hmm. uh, the Seymour is not there, but it is there in the video. Just look at that line right there. And it went beyond trolling the content created about me. Dot, dot, dot. God, wouldn't it suck if things went beyond trolling? Like, it, it, let's just say we've hypothetically had somebody who is like a funny Twitter reply guy who always wanted to bridge the gap between the left and the right and create a discussion. Now, how crazy would it be that if you went behind the scenes, you found out that sometimes, just sometimes, it went beyond trolling? Yeah. That would be crazy if what, someone what, exposed that. What are you in <laughs> inferring here, Nick? <laughs> I'm sure you'll find out. Oh my god. Just release the damn video already. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell, dude. Every fucking week for the last fucking half year, you're like, yeah, Bunty too. You know what Bunty did? Oh, you gotta wait for the video. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> release the video. Release the audio. <laughs> the audio. <laughs> uh, Mr. Mr. Chingus replies here. Is that racist? Sorry, Mr. Chungus. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Be Mr. careful, virus. Kathy Shu's gonna get you uh, taken oh, no. down. I, Last I name love, virus, first name Corona. I love, uh, I love, um, <laughs> I love bat soup. I have it every every night. Matter of fact, as soon as the stream is over, I'll be indulging in bat soup. Um, he says, uh, "I know to whom you're referring. They're doing the same shit to me too." What? Now, I gotta ask. I gotta ask. Wait, okay. do you have a video how many, in the works for how you? Many <laughs> no, no. How many tweets have I made about Ian Miles Chung in the past six months? I mean, I, you guys many. see my feet often. Well, I've made like maybe two. Do you know why yeah. he's mad? If this is a real thing. Like, I know exactly why he's mad. Because he did the same thing to Vamp. Like, when I goofed on Vamp, he's like, this Nicholas guy has been harassing me. And I'm like, all right, well, hold on. Hold on, Ian. I went to the Hype Break YouTube channel. Noticed it had started uploading again and was getting like 2,000 views. And I went, ha ha, I'm glad your channel is dead. That's, That's all you it. wrote. That's all it was. Yeah. That's literally Yeah, it. you went a little uh -huh. beyond trolling there, dude. That's cutting deep. Come Bro, on. Bro, they've been doing the same shit to me. It's gone beyond trolling. Ha <laughs> ha, uh -huh, I'm glad your channel is dead. Yeah, dude. Yeah, Ian, imagine if someone went beyond trolling and, you know, called someone's suck, house, uh, uh, like a swap, <laughs> maybe slash bang a dog. I, sometimes, <laughs> I don't know, just a nice, a nice uh, well, a wellness check saying there's uh, a mentally deranged man with cocaine and firearms in a Canadian household. That yeah, would that would that be would... crazy if it went beyond trolling like that. I don't know, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> dude, listen, I, I, I'm the floppy floppy yeah. saying <laughs> the puppy's staying with my aunt for the weekend because I don't know if it can survive a flashbang. So we're we're just gonna avoid that. Oh, you've you've relocated the puppy, <laughs> the pupper. Yes, I, I have. I've prepared. 